morning. Good morning. Good morning. Another day. Another precious, wonderful, beautiful day. You may not feel that way. You may be waking up right now and go, oh, another day. Instead of, whoa, what a beautiful, wonderful day, no matter what it looks like outside your window. Let me share a scripture with you today that I believe will bring light, illumination, and even life into your day-to-day -day steps today. It comes out of the very first verses in the first chapter of John, the Gospel. And this I want you to listen to because it's so short and it's so meaningful that sometimes we can miss the power that represents itself in the scriptures and what it says to us okay let me read this to you again john the gospel chapter 1 verse 1 through 5. it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god he was with god in the beginning through him all things were made without him nothing was made ever in him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome. What does that say to you and I? We could read through that scripture so quickly and miss the entire gospel. Why? Because we don't really realize how powerful of a gift you and I have or could have which is hearing God's voice. You know, I just got off the phone uh, doing some ministry early this morning with a beautiful, beautiful, big man who, powerful, powerful minister for God for years and years and years. He's fought some battles that uh, just, I can't even believe it. He's like a David uh, and Goliath type of battle, uh, you know, minister. But he was really struggling because he was going through a difficulty with his wife. His wife was suffering from circumstances of depression and anxiety and you know just absolutely was bringing up the you know the issues of all the past she's just been suffering terribly for weeks and weeks and weeks and maybe months with this depression and he's holding her and he's crying with her but they they, they just aren't seeing a breakthrough and they're both spirit-filled individuals they're both beautiful people that love the lord and he just needed some light he needed some life he needed some breath of air. So as I had to share with him, I related to whatever the Spirit was telling me. And I related to him that, you know, you really have a difficult situation. I'm not going to say that I know what you're feeling like. Don't ever do that. Don't ever say, I know what you're going through because everybody's story is different. But I do know that the Word of God, the, the voice of God can comfort us during our trials and tribulations can encourage us and give us a strength that no physical support can give us. And even through the valley of the shadow of death and difficulty and circumstances, that light that is illuminated for our steps only can come, only can come from God's voice and his word speaking to us. And as I shared that with him and he began to weep, and it's pretty humbling to hear a big man, a powerful man, weep. He realized that God was truly there. And he knew it, but he needed someone to help with a little bit of a match. A little bit of a light of illumination to remind him of listening closer to God. So I asked him, I said, what have you been hearing? What, what, what have you been getting from the Lord? And he said to me that he was very, very angry with the Lord at times. But then he would repent because he knew that... The Lord wasn't punishing him and hurting him in any way, but it was a difficulty. And that he needed to go through this to truly learn more about God's love. How to love those, not that love you all the time or don't love you, but those that are suffering that you love. And he began to recite to me different scriptures that he wasn't planning on reciting. And those scriptures gave him life. So see, I brought a match and he put a bonfire inside him with the Spirit of God that illuminated him, gave him strength, gave him courage and encouragement. And as we hung up, I knew that he'd be better today. 
Do you realize how powerful that word within you through your difficulties and your circumstances and your situations is? Well, if you haven't truly tapped into hearing God's voice and reading the scriptures from a personalized level of hearing his voice, as, as uh, 2 Timothy 3.16 talks about, it, it deals with your anger, it deals with your attitude, it deals with your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, then I really want you to be in the workshop with us coming up. And there's a registration that I'll put down here so that everybody has it today. And that registration is for the four workshops that we're going to do. There'll be 90 minutes each workshop, and there'll be um, what I'm believing is very powerful. But the, the whole substance, the whole substance of the entire workshop is to help us hear God's voice better. And in my 40 years of walking and listening and sharing with people and being taught by people that have really sought to hear God's voice, it never ends. You can never know enough about hearing God's voice. You can never know. And I just gave you the example of a man of God. He's been ministering beyond my years. He's done supernatural levels of, of ministry. And he, even to this day, needed the added illumination of the power of God's voice to ignite the fire to get through the battle. And he will, and he has, because it says right here that the darkness didn't overcome the light. So in your life, no matter where you're at in your growth and your spiritual walk, no matter where you are with your spirituality, it's never, ever enough to not continue to learn to hear his voice more clearly, to hear and define and translate his voice more in, 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 you know, intimately. So be sure you join us, but really reach out, reach out, take and cut and paste the comment that I put here and share it with others. Because I, I, I from my journey with Journal today and the constant thing that he tells me that th there is no greater time of darkness that we have ever seen in this world, in every area, in every, I'm not going to go into the, the laundry list, but there's never been a darker time of circumstances and situation globally. So the Lord continues to tell me there's no greater time than to bring the light. And the light is his voice, his word, and how it will bring light into the darkness and the darkness will not overcome it. Whether it's an individual situation, like in my friend's case that I ministered to today, or your case or your circumstance, or a big case like the entire globe, it all is the same light, the same life, the same word, the same voice that will lead all of us into the right direction, get us through the difficult times, encourage us, strengthen us, and empower us with a power that is unbeatable, unbeatable. Don't you want that kind of strength? Unbeatable strength, even through the times that you're battling. Well, as I said to my friend to finish that story, I said, brother, this has been a battle, like a, a fight, two fighters in a ring. And I said, you're just taking a pause and sitting on the stool right now, and I'm just putting some salve from using the scriptures and sharing my love for you. But you're going back in. You're going back in with the power of the Lord of God's, the power of God himself, the power of the Holy Spirit that's within you. And you're going to hear him coach you through the process of every one of the blows that you're going to deliver the enemy over and over and over through your emotions, through your feelings, through your thoughts, and through the true circumstances that you're dealing with right now. And that's what we're going to be teaching in our workshop the very thing that it takes to fight the battle, to get through the battle, and to win the battle because it's already been won and you've been already claimed and, and, and anointed and called as more than a conqueror, but you need to hear God's voice clearly and set your path and your life and your goals upon that rock, that understanding, and be led and guided by the Holy Spirit through his voice. Join us at the workshop but surely get others with you. Don't do it alone. It's so much better together. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Keep my friend in prayer. I'll keep you in prayer. You keep me in prayer. And we will fight the battle by faith and win because the score, the, the, the scoreboard has already finished by saying Jesus wins and Jesus lives in you. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow.